Hello and welcome to the Foundry's Furnace Core Tutorials for Final Cut Pro. Denoise is designed to remove noise or grain from an image sequence. Now, assuming there is no motion in the sequence, the best way to reduce noise is to take an average across a number of frames. The noise which is different on each frame will be reduced and the picture which is the same on every frame will be reinforced. Unfortunately, there is motion in the sequence, the average image will be blurred as the image appears at different locations in each frame. However, by estimating the motion in the sequence using the Foundry's advanced motion estimation technology, it is possible to compensate for any motion and average the frames temporally without introducing any blurring artifacts. So it basically looks and sees how the pixels move in the sequence to determine what is actual image and what is noise. So before you start the tutorial, you should have downloaded the relevant image sequences and scripts from the Foundry website. Once you've done this, we can begin. When you open the actual denoise sequence, you should find original sequence. If you just play through this, you can see a blue screenshot of two army guys. And to actually get a key of this to input the background, what we need to do is remove all the noise from the shot. If we don't do this, we'll find holes in the mat. So if you look close at this, you can see there's quite a bit of noise going on in the blue. So, if we just press stop on this, it's frame one. And if we just drag the sequence to the timeline, we can start working on it. So what we need to do is go to the effects tab, and in our furnace core tool set, we should find the denoise plugin. We need to just grab this and drag and drop it onto our sequence. Back to the tab, just double click this. We're able to see in the filters tab the parameters. As you can see by adding it on, it's automatically taking away a lot of the noise on its own. Now, before you press render, what we need to do is actually change some of the render settings. So we need to go in the actual render control, video processing, and we need to change render all YUV material in high precision YUV. That actually gets us float colors, which will help our actual render and get better results. Click OK. Now we've set this actual render settings, we can actually get a default render of this. Now if we just play through the footage now, you can see by using the default settings for denoise we removed a majority of the noise and the gradient from the sequence. However, there is still a little bit of noise in the sequence left over if you look carefully. So I have to fix this to completely remove it. So let's go back to Final Cut. So to fix this, if you look in the Filters tab, you can see we have many controls and parameters to actually adjust the denoising. Our first parameter is the Tune option. This controls the amount of noise being removed from the sequence. Now this is a fairly crude method to denoise the actual image, as increasing this too much will actually remove too much of the actual valuable image detail, which we want to keep in the sequence. And of course a lot of blurring. So what we need to do is reduce this down to a value of 2. We also have the actual analysis method. Now by default this is set to auto analyze. This will automatically set to a region for you to analyze the noise. Now you can select the region yourself that you think is better than the sample area for the calculations to take place. Now we can do this by changing this to sample region. And this actually gives us the ability to use the crosshairs and also gives us the actual area where we're sampling from. Now we need to remove this from actual image detail and move this to a flat area of the screen as by default this is set over the actual imaging face and this actually analyze the face as actual noise this will cause a lot of ringing which is going on the artifacts what we need to do is place it on a flat area so there's no detail present so we're going to use this corner area here as you can see it's vastly improved the results already now, a much more accurate method to remove noise from the sequence is to use the tune amount parameters to remove noise and grain from the individual color channels. This can be done by using the red, green and blue tuning parameters. So if we just turn our actual FD noise off, so back to our original content, what we can do is use the view and go into channels and view the individual channels. So we have here is the red channel, and we can see there's quite a lot of noise in there. Just change to the green. The green is okay. Just change to the blue. 
Now, by identifying where the most grain exists within each individual color channel, we can focus the actual denoising on the individual channel without removing too much detail from the other channels. Now, for this sequence, we can actually see that a majority of the grain is actually present in the red channel. Now, this is not normally the case, as most noise in grain is present in the blue channel. So if we turn our actual FD noise back on, what we can do now is go back to our RGB color channels. And as we know that most of the grain exists in the red, we can increase this. Now, the value for this particular shot will be 1.7. The quickest way to find this out is actually just do trial and error and actually take away as much as you can from the actual red channel and render the sequence out and see how much detail is lost compared to how much grain is removed and it's best to keep as much detail as possible but remove as much as the grain as you can. We can actually get a render of this and view the results. If you play through the sequence down we can see we've removed as much of the grain as possible and we've actually retained a lot of the detail. Now this is just the actual overview of the actual denoising node and for more information on the parameters not covered in this tutorial please refer back to the furnace core manual.